Gregor, tell us yes. about your association with the World Tennis League. Well, what can I say? It's uh, it's new, it's different, uh, it's exciting. Uh, I got the chance to meet all the owners and uh, basically everyone that has been helping to, to make this event happening. I think it's a great initiative. Um, and looking forward to get out there, of course. Let me see how it goes. It's a, it's a very, it's a new format, and I'm very excited about it. Yeah, wonderful. We are looking forward to it as well. We want to take you back in your journey and know from you. At what age did you decide that you wanted to be a tennis player, oh, and oh. what inspired you to become one? Um, I started playing tennis when I was three years old, so it was a very, very different um, situation for me. Three I, years yeah, old. Yeah, I was at three years old. Um, I come from a very sporty ba background. My mom is a former volleyball player. My dad is a tennis coach, so ultimately in I wanted family. to be, in, yeah, it's in the family, but I wanted to be in sports. I didn't really plan on being a tennis player, to be honest, but I was very excited to be a tennis player. And then um, I think I was around 10 or 11 years old where I said, okay, it's done for me. This is what I do. Yeah, superb. Yeah. And tell me, there have been, of course, so many achievements you've had over the years. Is there any one particular moment or achievement that's, that you cherish and it's very close to your heart? Uh, yeah, th there's multiple moments in my career that I feel that I have, uh, that they, I keep very close to me. But, uh, you know, our sport is so, so, so difficult. So I always say so liquid because you never know. You might be playing bad for three, four weeks. All of a sudden, like you play amazing, you win a big title. So I try to embrace every time that I get out there. Uh, and I'm also trying to, uh, to savor every little moment I have, whether it's good or bad. Of course, bad are never fun, but the good ones are very good ones. And uh, we're really excited and uh, looking forward to, to really get the most out of it. And um, for me, I think obviously becoming a um, um, world champion 2017 was probably one of the, the biggest highlights for me. But last but not least, uh, I also appreciate a lot of my junior career as well. Wonderful. Tell me, Grigor, since your dad has been a tennis coach, you obviously picked up a lot of things from him uh, while growing up yep, and learning yep. to be a tennis player. What is that one thing that you learned from him which you will never forget? Oh, I would say it's the life experience. Honestly, it's not, it's not, it has nothing to do with the game. He gave me all he could give me in a way, but uh, I think the life experience that I have, I'm very fortunate to have such an amazing parents. Mom and dad has been my heroes. So, yeah. uh, so that's that. Wow. And tell me, is there a, um, a pre-match physical and mental routine that you follow? Yeah, of course. I think uh, my routines are very simple, but they're, you know, every single day. And uh, obviously I like to, uh, to, do, to warm up at the same time, sort of eat the same food. So you just try to, the things that have worked the day before, you try to repeat them again. Repeat them again. Yeah. But pre-match, do you have something like, you know, few moments yeah. where you do something every time? Yeah, you meditate a little bit, you listen to music. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's important to um, put some imagination into the match. You kind of replay the match in your head already and uh, get out there the best way you can. Yeah. Gregor, tell me, are you adventurous? Do you have like a, you know, bucket list that yes. you... Yes. What is that one thing on your bucket list? I wanted to jump with a, from a plane the other day. I just didn't have the time. Yeah. You want to do uh, skydiving? Yeah, I want to do skydiving. I want to do like a bunch of things. I'm, I like speed, so I like anything that is on four wheels and stuff like that. So really looking forward to that. Super. We wish you get to do that, maybe yeah. in Dubai or somewhere yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Tell me, apart from tennis, is there any other sport that you enjoy watching or playing? I love sports. Honestly, I love watching anything that is on, uh, that is on TV. Um, any sport and I, I play all the nearly all the sports that, that exist out there there's yeah. very little sports that I haven't played and uh, 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 and I would I would love to but uh, you know it's a bit difficult at the moment cricket <laughs> that's the one sport I want to try for example. you want to try, I wanna that. try that. that's oh. why I don't want to say cricket but that's the one I said it because yeah. I'm from India there and of course go. cricket yeah, is yeah. like in our yeah. blood of course of course <laughs> Wonderful. We hope Great. you get to play that as well. And I'm Thank sure you. you will ace it in that Thank field you. too. I'll do my best. Thank <laughs> you so much. What is your one advice um, going out there to young tennis players or who are trying to achieve this dream of playing tennis? Be yourself. Most important is be yourself. Um, family is the most important. Everything else, you, you surround yourself with the right people and always follow your own path. Never follow somebody else's path. You can see, adjust, maybe do something what somebody else done, but don't follow through all the way through. You carve your own path and I think that's the beauty in it. 
Super. Gregor, it's been yeah. wonderful talking Thank to you. you. You're very, very inspiring in Thank your you. journey and your conversation. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks Wish you all the very best with the World Tennis League. Thank you so much. Thank you.